What's up guys? Eric Hill Mountain Movers. Man, the view is so nice from up here. So we gotta paint these right here. Carpenter bees maybe got into it. Try to patch that up. Um, I had to replace the ones off of the window seals. <clears throat> but they were rotted. These don't look near as bad. And then I'm gonna touch up the side of this uh, best I can. The other side was much worse. We took care of that yesterday, so we're gonna take care of it next. Uh, but first a nap. Okay, nap's over. Here we go. Interesting day. Luckily I've already done all the stunts. You guys didn't really get to catch that, but you didn't miss much. I literally paint this edge. Had to hang off to of the side of the roof, Mission Impossible style, to get it restained. So, no big deal. No, just another day, another day. Uh, now, similarly, at least most of the damage down at the bottom, but there are a few spots that I have to hit on this side that I'm not completely sure how to pull that off yet. We do have the extension ladder, but the problem is, is the ground down there is nowhere close to the level. Um, there's all kind of crazy pitches and slopes right there on that dirt. So it's kind of hard to get a regular extension ladder in there. So, I don't know, you got any ideas? Pass them forth. Until then, I'm just going to use my handy dandy roller. Patch the pole, hang over the side, hit as much as the that way, and uh, see what, see how it turns out. So let me get to it. I'll show you guys here in a minute when we get closer to completion. All right, guys. So today we will be using a premium wood care cabot stain, semi-solid deck and siding stain. I don't know if this is a specific color. Let's see. We have. Mission Brown from Cabot Stains. You can see here the color codes if you guys are interested in this color. Um, we tried to match what we had already as closely as possible. Of course, it's hard to get an exact match, but uh, just get something close if you're going over the whole thing. Um, then the color will change slightly. So I got to replace some of this wood over here. A lot of rot right here in that crevice in between where this fascia comes in and meets the roof. So those had to be replaced. Nowhere I'd rather be than on this roof right now. Here with you. Dad gummit. it. Uh, oh, such great company. Are you freaking serious? All right, guys. Looking good. Got this board here replaced. Oh, man. A little, little stain. Yeah, right. Got this board here replaced. All this stuff was so rotted. So, whenever your wood starts to look like so, remember, you're not staining it because it looks like crap, which it does. It does definitely look like crap. But you're staining it to protect it from the weather and outside, whatever it is. Alright guys, here's the boards that were so rotten before. I had to replace uh, two, one on each window, uh, one on each side of each window. So we got those painted, stained rather, fixed. Got the sides of the windows painted. Got the soffit painted. So now the roof work is complete. Thank goodness. Every second I'm up here, I feel like I'm literally on an episode of Mission Impossible.
Wow, check it out. See all these holes? These are created from carpenter bees and other boring insects. Um, these are definitely a nu nuisance and can destroy your uh, exterior wood. Show you a unique way to at least reduce the amount of carpenter bees and other insects you have boring into your exterior wood. Here we have a simple homemade carpenter bee trap consisting of nothing more than a block of wood and a mason jar. Probably screwed on or glued on, either one I assume would work. It looks like they just bored or drilled a few holes here in this block of wood, connected it to the bottom, glued on the mason's jar after putting also a hole in the lid. And then after it's full, as you can see, this one right here is, has quite a few in it. You can pop off the lid, empty it, and reuse. And as you can see, that's been pretty effective at capturing quite a lot of bees. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Eric from Mountain Movers. See you on the next one.